We're going to be working today with Foxfire, Nako, Bear's horse. Uh, I have not ridden this horse. We had, you know, some lameness issues. Got therapeutic shoes put on him by my certified level four barefoot trimmer balance shoer farrier, uh, Phil Smith. He and I have been working together for 15 plus years. I've kind of grown up with him and it's been, he's been a, a wonderful support of mine and great lameness specialist. So we're gonna do a little grooming and I'm just gonna love on you. And we're going to see what you know and help Foxfire learn the three foundations and five fundamentals translating those under saddle for the first time. I have worked with him off and on, not consistently, but I've worked with him uh, learning the five fundamentals, three foundations, and pretty much he knows this already. Everything is up to you, okay? Everything is up to you. I will listen, and you will listen, and we will do just fine, okay? Oh, I love you, love you. Okay, so we'll do a little bonding, flexing, pressure and release. Can I love you right here? Make sure he can flex right there. Oh, very good. And he stays. Oh, good boy. You're going to be so easy. We're going to just take it easy on you today, right? Just take it easy on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness sake. Right there, right there. No, that, no. Can you give me nose right there? Mm -hmm. Give me your nose. Right there. There, good. So I had to give him a little pressure of the knot to get him to do that. Good boy. Good boy. And he's a little tight-lipped, a little worried. So let's get that mouth working a little bit. There. There, shake it off. I feel this resistance from him. It's like, I just, ah, he doesn't know what to expect. So he's trying to do, put his head way down, back up, back up, back up, back up, trying to show me his submissiveness. Like, please be kind to me and I will be. So he's just totally fine with this. This horse has been there and done that, but you never want to take any horse for granted. Back up, back up. Good boy. Go that way, that way. Come on. Trot, trot. Good. Trot. Good boy. Good job. There we go. Now I can relax a little bit. Don't have to have so much pressure coming out of me. Good job. And one, and two, and three. Let's go. Good boy. Trot. Good job. Excellent. There you go. Good boy. And a one rain stop. And a one rain stop with an up and over. Remember, horses can be possums, so you want to desensitize when they're moving as well. And give me that nose. Give me that nose right there. So I'm setting him up to have him flex under saddle. So we're riding bitless. It's not about using pain. It's about using pressure and relationship and him understanding what that one rein stop means. So I'll be translating that under saddle here shortly. Oh, you're doing a good job. Yes, he's been taught to put his head down and be submissive. Somewhere along the way, that's what his training did. And that's fine. I read it. I read the language just fine. You're a very good boy. You're a fine boy indeed. Okay, so let's check desensitizing. See how you do. You do pretty good with the up and over. Let's see how you do with this. Ah, oh, this is a worry. Okay, so I find most horses uh, have the ground training skipped in their training. Most horses are just under saddle training and this ground training was skipped. So obviously he's a little worried. So I get my hand in there and love him up. Just nurture him through it, but I don't stop. And now he's settled down. Good boy. Make the right thing easy. Good job. 
good, you're fine. He's checking in, am I still okay? You're doing great, what a brave boy. What a brave boy, yes, good job. And he also wasn't sure whether I was asking him to move swinging this, because that can mean, you know, move too. And so he's got to figure that out through my body language, through the energetic vibration that we're sharing. So I have to be real clear with my feelings, with my communication. And it's just a matter of learning a new language. He's learning my language, which is his language, ultimately the best I can do for you, huh? He feels so much better when I've got my hand on him. And the minute I take my hand off is when he starts moving. It's okay. He hasn't had much of this, it looks like. You're all right. Oh, now. Oh, stand. Oh. It's okay. You're all right. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Stand. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. There. Good boy. Good boy. Stand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So I had to really slow it down. Not such big slaps. Good boy. Break it into baby steps. Good job. Good boy. Exhale. That was a worry of one, but let's get you thinking about that. Yeah. Mr. Tight Mouth, you're kind of like, oh, kind of like your buddy Jet with the tight mouth. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah. Good. Going some blinks. That's good. Good. Good, darling. I want you to stand when I'm desensitizing. Just close your eyes and relax through it. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. What do you think, darling? I'm gonna pull her nose to the girth. Good boy. Good boy. Up and over. Good boy. You're so steady. Yeah, you are. Ah, Western. Ugh. Never the easiest for me. <clears throat> So, I'm going to do a one rain stop, ho, ho, and remind him that I'm the same person, the same leader up here as I was down there, and give me that nose. Good boy. I'm nervous too. Can I have your nose? There. Good boy. Let me love you on this side. <clears throat> let me love you on this side. Oh, good boy. Always be honest with your horse. If you try to lie, <clears throat> like being brave, and don't let them see your fear, that's ridiculous. You can have your head back now. <clears throat> they know, they know, they can sense fear. Come on, turn your head, darling. So you just have to be honest. I just tell them, you know, I'm a little afraid. We're both a little nervous. Come on. There. Yeah, he's like, what? There's no bit in my mouth. And forward we go. There you go. Forward we go. Good boy. Good boy. He's like, there's no bit. What's this about? You're doing a good job. There you go. And a one rein stop. A couple engagements, disengagements. Good boy. Release my foot. Excellent. And then we step over. Step over. There you go. And forward. Good boy. Good boy. <clears throat> Good boy. And a one rein stop. A couple of disengagements. Ask for that disengagement. Good job. And give me that nose. Give me that nose. Can you give me your nose? Oh, that was the slightest give, but I'll take it. And forward we go. So now I'm going to find out what does he know? What does he know about leg cues? Looks like he's more of a mouth guy. All of his cues were coming out of a bit. And now I'm going to teach him cues coming from the body, riding as a body of one. And he's like, there's no bit in my mouth. I don't get it. You'll get it, honey. Your, your big brother Jetty did. You can do this. 
You can do this. Come on, you can do this. We can do this together. Come on, there you go. There you go. He's like, boy, this is weird. There you go. You're going to learn about body instead of mouth. We don't need to ride with our mouths. There you go. Good job. Good job. He's like, where is the bit? So turn, very good. He always figuring that out, good. Just a slight little squeeze of my finger and he's really realizing he needs to turn. Very good, right. come on. Forward we go. And hold, two, three. Good boy, he stopped on two. Very good boy. And if he's sore, that makes sense. He's reluctant to move, so I am gonna dismount. And hold, two, three. I think he's got something going on. Can I tip your nose this way? Wiggle a little bit in the saddle. That's my indication I'm getting off. Okay, something's going on with you, darling. I don't know what it is. So let's take a look at this film and see what's going on. So I'm working with Foxy today. I don't have my handy dandy cameraman. So I'm just gonna wear my helmet cam while I work, work the best boy. We've already done our bonding and then I realized I need to get my camera on. Oh, you're such a good boy. Okay. So we're going to do some warm-up, and then we're just going to exercise today in the arena. Good boy, Stand. Good job, Stan. Uh-uh, I know you want to be with me. Stand. Stand. You're ground tied. Oh, Stan. Good boy. Tell him when he's doing the right thing so he understands. Good boy. Keep standing. Just going to get... A stick for some added energy because going to the left is not your favorite direction, huh? Alrighty then. Just need a little extension of my hand with the stick. Because if my hand was this long, I'd do the same thing. I'd reach over and I'd tap him. Good boy, didn't even have to touch him. Excellent, he understands the stick means energy. Good, good, good boy. Yeah. And a one rain stop, bad boy, and a one rain stop, and up and over. It's good to have him moving while I'm doing the one rain stop, because you know horses can be possums. And give me that nose right there, darling, right there. Give me that nose, the slightest. Oh, that was so good. That was the slightest, just as I said, the slightest try. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Let's do a little desensitizing. Make sure everything is iry. Right. That's a good boy. Oh, a little bit of a worry. Let me love you. I'm not asking you to move. So I'm standing at the shoulder. It's the safest place. Good boy. Good boy. Up and over. Got a boy. So when I'm out on the trail, there's tree branches and all sorts of stuff, fauna and flora, that's going to get tangled up. Maybe going to be whacking my horse on the body and I need to make sure that none of that kind of stuff's gonna bother him. So you use your rope. Oh, got a little bit of an issue with the rope. Oh, let me love you. Oh, just keep kind of going. Let's break it down there. All right, let me love you. There you go, let me love you. Good boy, good boy, good boy. That was right. Once he stopped and I was done. Good job. Now, if he was getting really upset, I would have stopped. And then we would have just gone back to a baby step, very small space, and working up to it. You don't just keep going because that's what the trainer says. Keep going until they stop moving. That's nonsense. If they're like super overwhelmed, stop. Find a place where they're okay with it and then build from that. It's nonsense. Oh, you're teaching them that it's okay to move. Well, you know, we do make mistakes, but you can always just start over, calm things down. Good boy. I'm going to try this side again. And then just begin again. You don't have to get it right the first time. You're not going to ruin your horse if you stop in the middle of something because they're upset about it. You're not going to ruin them. This is a mammal. They think, they feel, they understand. And you can communicate with them. Indeed, through the release of pressure, not the pressure itself. 
So I think it's okay to uh, get on. I'm just gonna get um, I'm just gonna get reins and the mounting block, and we're just gonna take care of business. Yeah. So we'll get this ride in, this exercise. Yeah, that's up. And then you and I will be done, and you can everybody can go outside and play. Naysayers, oh, lady, wear gloves. You can all just shut your mouth. I wear gloves because I prefer to. I don't like rope burns. I can feel my horse just fine. You know, to each his own, folks. To each his own. Let's try not to be so frickin' judgmental of one another. I'm going to judge you if you're abusing your horse. Otherwise, to each your own. All right, honey. You stand up for a minute. Good boy. Mm, happy boy. Mm, I love you too. I love my Paco Laco. How about I get on your offside? Would that be all right with you? Let's do it. Come this way. There. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Now, I want you to stand nice. Just want you to flex. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Very good. A little rain and mane. And always flex that nose. Excellent. No, you shouldn't be moving on me, honey. I will put you in a one rain stop. I don't like don't like boys moving on me. Okay. Let's step away from the mounting block and the wall. There you go. And I'm going to love you up. Find your balance. I'm going to love you up. Oh, that's a good boy. See, I'm the same loving leader up here in the saddle as I was on the ground. Very nice flex. Okay, can I have you over here, please? Can I have you over here? I don't know about that. There you go. Good boy. Let me love you on this side. So this boy has yet to get used to this, the holistic training halter bridle, which you can train your horses in this. It's just simply a rope halter with side pole loops, all one piece of rope. I hand tie these myself. And so this loop is just simply where you attach your reins. And I'm waiting for him to give. Meet your nose. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, and so you can train your horse in this, and then you can go from this to riding. Okay, forward we go. Forward we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. You know how to ride. Yes, you do. There we go. Good job. Oh my gosh, this feels like a normal. This feels normal. Oh yes, honey. Yes, this is a normal gait. Oh my gosh. That must have been your pastern was just stuck because you actually have a normal bop. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. He has no bit. So he's like, um, where are the cues? Where are they coming from? Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Excellent. Oh, I'm so proud of you. So where we want to get with this is just a squeeze of the reins instead of me having to dramatize to teach. Turn my head, squeeze the rein, we go to K. Very good boy. And I actually put my inside leg on him so he would move around my leg. Good boy. He's probably wondering, who the hell are you talking to? I know, he thinks he wants to go home. So I put my outside leg on him and let him know, nope, we're not going home. Keep going. Ooh, I need to get the cobwebs out of here, don't I? Keep going. Now we're going to take a hard right to F. Put that inside leg on him. Excellent. You're going to figure out that I know how to ride. And I bet you've had some great training. Just no one has actually ridden you with it in a while, right? Oh my gosh, I can't believe how normal you feel. This is fabulous. Excellent boy. Excellent boy. Excellent. Yes. Good, good boy. Keep going. 
you have to poop, we'll stop, but otherwise keep going. Excellent, Foxy. Keep going. Excellent. Oh, I'd rather have him in an English saddle, but my English has got a wide gullet. Excellent. Maybe, maybe we'll get Daddy in an English saddle. Daddy Nako, huh? That would be great. Get the horn out of the way so when we go trail riding, he can duck way down. The horn is just too much in the way of super extreme trail riding like we like to do, huh? There you go. Oh my gosh, you feel normal. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. Nope. Go this way. Go to H. And ho. Two. Three. Excellent. Excellent. So I just pulled my belly button to my spine. I just sat deep in my pockets, like Julie Goodnight says, put my feet out, and just squeezed a bit on those reins, and he stopped. Excellent. So I just pick up my rein a little bit, give him a little bit of a squeeze. I don't like to kick horses. You wanna just give a little squeeze with your body, with your heels, with your legs. And he picked up on that. Good boy, he knows how to ride. I think he's an excellent, ec probably excellently trained. He just hasn't had uh, a trained rider for a while. And Daddy Nako's busy on tour all the time, so he doesn't get much time to ride. Yeah. See, he wants me to dismount, and I'm not. We're not done. You need work, my darling. You need work. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Good boy. You can adjust yourself. That's fine. If your horse needs to adjust themselves with just one step, let them do it. If they're stepping out, that's different than adjusting. That's knowing and understanding what your horse is saying. You don't want to discipline for something that they're just trying to make themselves more comfortable under you. Remember, you're on top. And that's a, that's a balancing act for them. That's something else he's trying to figure out too. His balance with the rider. And I'm a, I'm a different rider than Nako. So he's having to figure that out. Come on. There you go. Today. I am excited to tell your daddy. I'm excited to send him a text and let him know how wonderful you are, how fabulous you are, how much better you're doing. Okay, so can we pick up a trot? Trot. Come on, you can trot. And I'm posting. That's really nice. Doesn't feel gated though. Just feels like a normal trot. Trot, trot. It's probably, why are you posting in a Western? Ah, ah. Trot, trot. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Turn. Oh my goodness. So in an upper gate, trot. Sometimes it's a little harder to get them to listen. Just like a keep a consistent circle. You'll get there. Good boy. I'm trying to keep a loose rein on him so he feels okay. Good boy. Good job. Good. Good job. And ho, oh, two, three. Excellent. You did good. And you're licking and chewing. You did good. That was very good. Let's walk a little bit. And then we're going to change direction and trot the other direction. Very, very good. You did good. I know that was so weird, huh? It was a little funky and weird. And you stumbled a little. And you're a little out of balance. And Oh, that's so hard, isn't it? Yeah, that's so hard. But we're going to take a hard right. Oh, it's so good. Hard right to F, and we'll change direction. There you go. Blow it out. Good boy. Blow it out. No head down, though, because I don't need a buck -a Come on. Forward we go. 
I'm not doing a head all the way down. I don't know this guy well enough to know if he'd just like to toss me. So, I never take a horse for granted. Never want to take, I don't even take Paco for granted. And he's been there, done that, everything catches you if you start to lose your balance. But he's still a horse. He has his own instincts, and I respect that. So I respect you, Foxy. Yes, I do. So when we get to F, we're going to start trotting to the left. Good boy. I'm so happy this gait feels so much better. Okay, and trot. There we go. Oh, I like it going to the left. It's a little easier. Come on, keep going. Good boy, that is a nice float. Okay, now I'm feeling that gait. Oh man, that's a nice float. Keep going, don't, don't let me down. Don't let me down, keep going. Good job. Yeah, now we can transition to a walk and keep going. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Keep going, we're gonna walk. Good boy, that was so good. Oh, I'm very proud of you. What a wonder boy, yes. What a wonder boy, oh my goodness sakes. What a good, good boy. Very good, very good. And turn to see that a boy. Turn to M. There you go. Keep going. Good boy. No. Keep going. Hello, I'm talking. There you go. <laughs> Do you know how to back up? Let's see if you can drop your head first. Can you drop your head? Drop your head? Drop your head? Drop. Good, good, good boy. He knows how to do that. Good job, break at the pole. Very good, you know that, okay. Now let's see if you know how to back up. So I'm gonna back to, back to, back to, back to. Yes, he knows the pedal. So I go left, finger, left heel, right finger, right heel, left rein, right rein, and pedal him back. Go forward now. Like, who are you talking to? Go forward, good boy. So he knows the pedal method. I love the pedal method. It's just so easy. It's like a dance, you know, right, left, right, left. And you kind of stand up just a tiny bit, lean forward a little bit, get off your horse's back so they pass through your legs to back up. Sometimes when you're teaching a brand new horse, never learned this, have someone on the ground, give the cue with the uh, lead rope down at the shank, just kind of wiggling it. Come on, come on. I know you can walk better than that. Just a wiggle with the shank. And coordinate that with the person on the ground while you are asking with the reins. And then you slowly end up transitioning that from that person to you. It may take that person on the ground a couple times to help you, and then you do it without them. And it's amazing how quickly horses pick up on, on those easy movements when you have a little bit of help. Good boy. Are you licking and chewing? Good job. We're just going to walk it out, cool down and walk. You're doing a good job. Good boy. I'm having to work a little bit though with my body, riding with life to keep him going. Cause he's just kind of pokey pokey. Good boy. So I'm gonna dismount over at F. That'll throw him off. Yeah, go what? Good boy. Let's head over to F. Good boy. Now, I'm going to tip his nose a little bit to the near side. I'm going to wiggle a little bit. And that's my signal. Hold. That's my signal that I'm getting off. Wiggle. And then. Excellent.
Man, that was so fun. You did a great job, Foxy Man. Mwah. What a good boy. What a fabulous boy. I'm so proud of you. You did a fab job. All right, my darling, let's go. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hi, Bucko and Benny. Everybody gets to go out to the pasture now. They've all been waiting patiently. Yes, we had to get a little lesson in, and it was a fabulous lesson. Oh, my goodness. You are just getting there so quickly, handsome. Yes, you are. All right, thanks for joining me. Keep tuned in for more Naco Horse Stories.